Hi folks, Master Phil here with Make America Fit Again. Now today, we're going to be reviewing the single bell front squat with the kettlebell. So, first I address the kettlebell. Clean it up into the rack. That was what we call a cheat clean. Notice my wrist position here. My wrist is not like this. My wrist is straight. In kettlebells, there are no wrists. So my wrist is straight, never like this. Here only. <clears throat> Pull it into the position. The other thing is you don't want to have your elbow out to the side here either. It's not good for your shoulders. You want to have the bell tucked in, reinforcing the rack. You want to lift your elbow up too, because when you go deep, especially with a larger bell, the bell's going to want to fall forward or dump out. So what you want to do is bring the elbow up to counteract that. So right here, feet about shoulder width apart, and pull down and up. Notice I'm only using one hand, not two. I want to reinforce this rack. I want to increase the strength of my core here. Boom, and down, up and down. There's no tail tuck either. My spine is neutral. Pull myself down, break parallel, and come up. It's an active negative on the squat. Pull myself down and bring up. Other side. Even distribution. I don't want to have my feet like Donald Duck. You don't have to have them so straightforward. Slight angle, so you can open up your hips. But if you want to bring in for a variation, you can do those as well. So I can come in here with my feet tight, okay? Pull myself down and up. Inhale, exhale, side view. This is a close squat. Inhale, keep my compression, exhale, on the way up. So there you have the single bell front squat. Enjoy your training, make America fit again. Master Phil signing off. Strength and honor.